Okay. <clears throat> so this talk will move in a little bit different direction. Uh, I know everything's been about tech. This is, uh, hang on, sorry, let me get this out of the way first. All right, here we go, present. So I wanted to talk about the, uh, the path leading to, right? So we're all here today for some reason, from something we did, some path we took, the fork in the road, right? The proverbial fork, as you can see, my fork's a little different than some. I only have 10 fingers and 10 toes. This is not a representation of that. But ultimately, this is me, Fuzzy Butter, on uh, Twitter. And then Scott Allen or Scott Allen Henry is on pretty much most anything else. Um, so I want to do a quick timeline. And this is just kind of a blaze through, right? So like 1980s, like parents buy a house, right? This is Oklahoma. So you guys, at least I'm talking about something you guys understand, more Oklahoma. 909 Southwest 13th, which if you know, that neighborhood was gone, rebuilt. Uh, so three houses down, I meet a guy, uh, family at Tidwell's. This is my buddy Travis, who I get to know. At this time, though, you know, we're all diapers still, right? So uh, families become lifelong friends. Uh, so mid to late 80s, early 90s, you know, Tidwell's and Henry's, this is, I realize that this may be kind of weird, but dancing, singing, performing, Star Search, yes, Ed McMahon. I don't know if any of you are even old enough to know what that is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, so traveled around, a lot of performances, danced uh, professionally some, all this stuff. So trying to show you the different paths, right? Doesn't matter where you came from or where you think you're going, paths happen, things change. And it's kind of cool, I want to take you kind of on my journey a little bit and hopefully it inspires, inspires you or someone that you might know is trying to get to uh, where some of us are today. Uh, so we, we, you know, mid to late 80s, we're in early 90s, we're into computers, I got a Commodore 64, rocking some DOS, I don't know if Leisure Suit Larry, that, anybody else know what that is? Back in the day, I'm Packer Bell, um, you know, 6 a.m. fishing excursions. I beat on the, you know, Travis's bedroom window at 5 a.m. because he was bad with alarms. Get up, you know, we lived down the street. So all this to say that, you know, Travis takes his path. He graduates from OSU, double E, writing low-level programming code. He goes to work for John Deere, for Lowrance. Uh, by the way, you know, this was something he had to learn on the job, right? Uh, and me, I'm a shampoo boy. So my aunt hits me up my senior year. My mom's like, Dad, like, you gotta get a job. This is my senior year in high school, this is. Um, and so, you know, I, my aunt gives me a call, says, hey, we're hiring. Cool, what do I need to do? You need to come shampoo people. So this is where it all starts. I work for a big hair color company. A lot of you guys probably have no idea, but some of the ladies probably have had a chi iron, uh, you know, bio silk, those type of things. Worked for that company for many years. Um, I moved to California thinking that was going to be my destiny, right? Working in the salon in Beverly Hills, was hired, was going to work, bad wreck on the 405, completely changed my, like, everything, right? So that's, that's another path, right, that I can see in my history, which I think everybody has of them. If you look back and you think about it long enough, you know that fork in the road that definitely changed things, whether it be for the better or for the worse. So I'm back in the salon, which I meet my future wife, so I never would have known Lauren or had my three beautiful kids that we have. Uh, she's also a very talented <laughs> stylist. So I work in the salons, right, during the week, and I'm learning to code on the weekends. Because at this time, I've decided, hey, I'm kind of, I like what I do, but I, you know, it was something that was kind of like monotonous, right? You go to work. One minute Once morning. you understand color. I'm sorry? I said one minute. One, one okay. minute morning. So I work in the salon during the week, whatever. So this, this takes us to, like, more like my actual first job. So in 2009, Travis calls. He's been messing with something called Drupal. I'm like, what the hell is Drupal? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I'm still trying to play catch up. I thought, hey, okay, this is a good time to start learning some PHP because I'm not a programmer outside of like probably in middle school, basic, GW basic, those type of things that you would learn. Uh, he leaves John Deere, calls me up, says, hey, I need you to come help me move. I'm moving to Dallas. Why are you moving to Dallas? Well, I'm leaving my awesome John Deere job uh, to go to work for a startup. Six months later, sticks his neck out, gives me a call, says, hey, I got you an interview. <laughs> he knows that I'm pretty green. Um, but got me an interview, whatever, rejoice, I leave the hair industry and become a real developer. What I'm trying to get at to that is, you know, I had to work twice as hard, if not more, than other people because I knew what I was getting into. They knew what they were getting when they got me. So all it was was, hey, this guy will bust his ass, right? I'm sorry, for, uh, but anyway. Uh, so anyway, you know, and I did, I worked twice as hard as anybody else, I think, to get to where I am. So takeaways, be nice to the kid down the block, wake him up and go fishing. If you're asked to be a shampoo boy, say yes. And uh, climb the north face if that's what it takes to get you where you're going, because sometimes that's just how it is. Find a great mentor, as Travis was to me. Um, you know, I, I think him to this day. Um, 
or be one for someone else and always pay it forward. So thanks. Thanks. Good luck.